Hi, my name is Martin Blazer. I'm a physician, and I've written a new book uh, which I call Missing Microbes. And Missing Microbes is a book that I believe is important to just about everybody. Uh, everybody who has children or grandchildren, uh, everybody who's concerned about uh, the, the future of our human species uh, because of the kinds of threats uh, that may happen as a result of changes in the ancient microbes that have been colonizing us. So the human microbiome is, is quite vast. We estimate that humans have about 30 trillion cells in our body, but we also have about 100 trillion or more microbes. So the number of microbial cells outnumbers the number of human cells in our body. In fact, we're probably somewhere between 70 and 90 percent bacteria, which is food for thought. If we look at, at the genes in the body, the human genome has about 23,000 genes. But the current estimate of how many unique bacterial genes we have in our body is about 2 million. So 99 percent of all the genes in our body are bacterial. But we've been doing things in recent years that changed the microbiome. Antibiotics, cesarean sections, antiseptics. And my hypothesis is that we have permanently changed the microbiome. And this is leading to some of the modern diseases. Diseases like obesity, juvenile diabetes, food allergies, asthma, maybe even autism. And we have been doing work in the laboratory that has supported this, and other scientists have been doing work that supported this, and it's becoming more and more of a solid story. So my job is to tell the public about this and to sound an alarm so that we can stop the degradation of our microbiome and start to take steps to fix it, to replace the missing organisms, to stop the overuse of antibiotics, uh, and to uh, ultimately restore the health of our microbiomes, which will lead to improved human health.